have to pay for anything. Adam is free. And within this system, you can choose to buy whenever you want. You're not required to buy anything. And whenever I talk to individuals with these things, they start to understand that, oh, Adam is different. Okay, this is kind of different. And the, the, the time and place that we're in right now is a perfect place to be. Why? We have so many opportunities to do business, but there are so many obstacles to do business. So what do I mean by that? That means A, most all businesses require capital, right? And in this situation that we're in, it's not just about that because Atomy, it's free to start, all right? So we have out of three, one taken care of. What's the second one? There are always three things that you have to take care of to make sure that your business that you're doing will become successful. The second one is, what are you going to sell? Who are you going to sell it to, right? This is what, what, what I had to brainstorm when starting this business because there are so many different business opportunities, right? So even if you want to sell clothes or if you want to open a restaurant, you have to decide what kind of clothing am I going to sell? What kind of food am I going to sell? You're going to have to market wherever you're in. So your target market has to be big, right? For example, if you are living in Korea, I bet you a million dollars that Korean food will be more successful in Korea than if you do Mexican food, right? Because the population here is Korean, right? So your target market, if you chose to do Latin, if you chose to do Mexican style food in Korea, then your target market would diminish. It'd be small. Only individuals who want to eat Mexican food will be able to come to your restaurant. So that's the same thing in Atomy. That's why Atomy, we have what? We have everyday necessities, products that everybody needs, products that everybody uses and at prices that everybody feels that it is affordable. So what did I just answer here? I just showed you that your target market in Atomy is very, very large. How large is it? It's everybody who brushes their teeth. So let me get a raise of hands. Did you brush your teeth today? If you, if you brushed your teeth, raise your hand. Oh, look at all these hands not going up. I can see, so you didn't brush your teeth, huh? All these hands not going up. You got to go brush your teeth, okay? Even if you don't want to, you have to brush your teeth. So in order to brush your teeth, what do you need? You need a toothbrush and a toothpaste. So you need these products, right? And these are everyday necessities. This means that everybody that you come in contact with will be a potential customer as long as you can satisfy what? The price and quality. So how easy is that? You see what I just did? I just answered the question of business 101. Who are you going to market your products to? Everybody. How so? Because the quality is high enough that individuals who can buy luxury brands will be able to buy Atomy. The price is low enough where people who want high quality but can't afford it can still participate. So that's the beauty of Atomy. You're able to target market everybody. So therefore, your ability to succeed, therefore, grows exponentially. And then there's a beautiful part, the third part. The third part is management and duplication. So in a business, you are always limited to your vicinity, to your location, to your target market, and your personal ability. That's where everybody hits the wall. So if you're not very good at certain things, then you're going to hit the wall because you are limited to your personal ability. But anatomy, the beautiful part is what? That other people's ability become your ability. This means that you can leverage off of other people's ability. So imagine what I'm saying. If you're, if you're in a, if you're in university and you're in a classroom and you're taking a test, whenever you take that test, your score is dependent on whose ability? Your ability, right? Your score on that test is dependent on your ability, your test taking aptitude, right? So if you're able to obtain a lot of information and you're able to answer those questions correctly, you get a good grade. But let's say that you're not a very good learner in terms of just listening to a lecture. You're not a very, you're not a, you need a hands-on. You're a hands-on learner, but your class and the tests that you're taking, they're not hands-on. They're just regurgitating information and memorizing information. Then are you going to do well in that, on that test? Most likely, no, you will not do well on that test because you lack the ability to do that test well, right? So in business, it's the same thing, okay? In business, your business is limited to your ability, your product, and your management and managerial skills. That's where it's limited to. But the beauty of Atomy is this. In this business, you are not limited to yourself. You're limited to what? 
you desire to put in, right? So it's, it's an effort-based system, not an ability-based system. If you put in the effort to meet 10 people today and to talk to them about the basics of Atomy and how Atomy can bring them success in terms of value in product and value in business, then you are what? Leveraging your ability to succeed with that person. Because if you only know 10 people, but that person knows 100 people, then those individuals will be able to then what? Work with you and everything that they do becomes yours. You see what I mean? But people don't understand this concept. Since they don't understand this concept, they do not understand why and how you can become successful. So a lot of people told me, Jew, you're not going to become successful. There's no way you're going to succeed in Atomy. I don't care what Atomy is. It can be the next new whatever, but you're not going to succeed, right? That's what they told me. And I said, listen, because a business is a business, a brick and mortar or online business, whatever it means, a business is a business. So can you tell me what a business is? I asked them, I said, can you tell me what a business is and why one business will be successful and the other not? And they couldn't answer me. They say, you know, they, they just mumble. And I said, listen, business is simple. If you make lots of consumers, you get rich. If you don't, you close the door. It's very simple. Business one-on-one, right? So why do stores close? Why do businesses go bankrupt? Because they don't have consumers. They don't have people willing to use their product because their product is not giving people value. It's very simple. 